Hi, welcome back to Repairing Law Most for Profit. I just thought I'd have a, another look at this Honda HRB 423 I've got here. Now, if you, if you watched the previous video, you'll actually see that the uh, the recoil spring is actually broken on this. And I thought um, what I would do with this, normally if I'm going to repair them, which I'm not sure if I'm doing it with this yet, or if I'm just going to sell it for spares, I would normally just replace this whole recoil part. I think it's about £20 to buy one of those. But I thought... Um, I would just buy a spring, see if I can fit the spring. For the price of the recoils, normally I just buy a new recoil, but because I wasn't sure I was going to keep this, I thought I'd just try and fit a spring. Now, if you've ever taken a recoil out of one of these, and it opens up, you've got to be very careful, because it can easily uh, try and attack you. You need to wear some safety glasses. If you ever try to rewind a spring, a recoil spring, have a look on YouTube for some videos of that. You know, you really don't want to be getting into that, to be honest. I've bought a spring, it was only about £2.50. So, I'll just pop that off. And the only other thing I've done with this is that, uh, I'll just take this out with this uh, Phillips driver. The only thing I've not done with it when I took it apart was um, work out which way the spring was. Which um, is something I normally do, I normally just have my phone with me, I normally take pictures of everything. But um, because I'd sort of given up with it a little bit at the time, I didn't take one. So I'm hoping I've got the, the other spring, now I've got one here, but I know that's not the, uh, the correct one. And I'm trying to work out exactly which way this spring went so what I did is I went on a, a website and actually found this diagram of the whole thing and how it goes together and you've got to basically work out where these notches go and which way it's coiling because if you get it the wrong way it won't have any uh, spring back when you try and tension this pull cord so I'm going to have a look around and just see where I've put this old one I'm hoping it's still on my bench somewhere I've not binned it hopefully I can work out which way it went I'll use the diagram I'm going to have a go at fitting that but first of all I'm just going to unscrew this and take this uh, this part of this recoil apart. Now as I said, if there was a spring in this, you don't want to be doing this without any safety glasses on at all. I know most people will ignore that, but you won't once it comes and jumps out at you. There's a lot of power, a lot of tension in the springs that are normally in here. So I'm, first of all, I'm just going to unscrew this part. See if we can get this off here. And we'll pull this out here. Now, these actual parts here normally remove. As you can see here, they actually lift out. And this whole part should lift out as well. And I basically need to fit the new spring into this part here. And I also have to try and hook it on onto one of these notches here that's actually on this little coil. And I've also got to try and hook it onto this part here, which is uh, on the outer part of this recoil. So what I've done is I've actually purchased a new spring. And I'll say it's not something I normally do, but currently it's in uh, uh, a wrapped position. As you can see, it's all coiled up. And what I'm going to try and do, and I'm going to just pull these out of here. I'm going to take this coil off. I'm actually going to try and fit that in there. As you can see already, I'm probably going to have a problem because it's going to be too big. It's just slightly too big to fit in there already. I'm going to have to try and pop this in. But before I do that, I want to try and file the own spring, make sure I'm getting this in the correct way. Well, I've had actually no look at all finding the old spring. I think it's gone. I think it's been binned, and I also think the bin men have been and taken it away doing their uh, six weekly bin collection. So, anyway. It looks to me like this little notch here, this actual catch here, actually runs round in an anti-clockwise place and it drops onto here. So I've got the two parts as you can see in the diagram. I've got this part here and I've obviously got the, uh, the recoil cover off. And I've got the spring. So just looking back at this diagram again and thinking it runs anti-clockwise, I'm just looking at this notch here. So you can see that there, where my little finger is. That one actually catches onto the bottom part here of this uh, this plastic recoil there's actually some little clips it just pushes on there so I'm going to push this on first of all I'm going to try and get this on nice and neat and get this part of it on I'm just going to try and sit it in the centre and hope that when I put this part on here I actually push it all back together that it somehow uh, automatically clips back into this metal housing here what happened to the other one the only reason it failed is this part of it this part of the spring had actually snapped I was trying to heat this up and I was trying to bend it back around the other way and create an end and it was just virtually impossible to do. I was, as much as I heated it up and bent it, it still snapped. And you're working against the spring and of course you'd still need to rewind the spring. So for three quid or whatever it was, £2.50, it's really not worth the hassle. So my next job, once I've got some safety glasses, is just to try and attempt to push this in here in what I think is the correct order for this recoil. Right, so my next challenge, now I've got my glasses on, is to try and somehow fit this in in the correct way which I'm hoping is anti-clockwise with this little notch catching in there now if I'm looking at that to me that still looks like 
that's wider than this actual housing but I think it's just because it wants pushing through so the only thing I can I can think to do is put it on exactly where I'm going to need it and just basically start pushing this through get it lined up as much as I can and hopefully inch this through now this will either end up on you've been framed or you know one of them videos on YouTube where someone gets blown up by the home firework but um, I can't think of any other way of doing it so I'll just do it And as you can see, it's completely unwound itself, which I was suspecting it might do. Now, getting that back in is a real, real pain. Rewinding this spring, actually trying to sit it in there, it's going to be a bit of a job. I'll have a little bit of a go, but this is why I normally spend an extra £10 and buy the whole recoil. Three volts later it's on and I can list this for profit. But I'll have a go at rewinding it and putting it on. And uh, if anyone's got, got any other suggestions of how they normally do it, that... Uh, they've actually filmed and they can send to me, I'd be interested to know because I've never found a good way of doing this I've actually tried it a few times before and obviously not succeeded I'm trying to rewind these back and get them to fit in there, if that had been wound a little bit tight I could have dropped that in and it might have been okay but so far not very successful so here I am about to 10 minutes later I've actually tried to find a way to rewind this spring and I did have a little bit of success but I actually uh, well obviously not completely but I did find some success by actually putting it in the, the chuck of the drill and actually putting the drill in reverse I was actually trying to hold this spring down with a, a piece of wood and rewind it and as you can see all I've got really is a cut finger I've got a broken spring and 10 minutes of my life wasted that I can't get back now this is a lesson I've learnt before and it wasn't why I was filming the video I was actually trying to fit the spring to be quite honest about that but I've got a broken spring, I've got a cut finger, you know, I've spent 10 minutes of my life and basically for the for the price of it, I've just looked at the spring, it was £3 was the spring I've just looked on eBay here and I can actually buy this complete part here and it's £15 is this, if you can see here, which has the price will load up, it's there, £15.95 and I can actually buy that for £15, now you might not want to pay that if you're not sure that this mower is going to work but that's three bolts. It's so simple to put on. But if you're at all like me and you just want to turn these around quickly, buy this part, and just buy yourself a new part and put it on these. Yeah, push it on the threads. That's all you've got to do. You put these three things on. It'll take you no more than a minute to do this. Just put that on the right way. Let's see for the camera. You just put these on here. Wind these on. Three of these. Tighten them up. It'll have a pull cord already in it. For £15, I mean, it's only uh, £12 more than I paid for messing about with the spring. It's something I've never done. It's, this is one of those mowers where I didn't want to spend any money on it, but I would rather sell it for spares or repair and be able to show it running than have a recall spring working for a couple of quid. But my advice take a look at the other videos of people trying to rewind recoil springs on YouTube. I can't find a video of anyone trying to fit one but you just look at the difficulty they go to in rewinding one people have spent hours just to film one video on it my advice is pay a bit more money buy the correct part for the job <laughs> don't cut your finger don't mess about with the drill don't waste three quid on a spring and um, it's Saturday night now so to be honest with you what I'm going to do is have a quick tidy up in here and I'm going to go to my local for a couple of pints I'm going to watch match of the day when I get in so Thanks for watching, bit of a different video, but I like to do videos that are, you know, actually uh, real life. I don't like to just do ones that are, you know, I'm just fixing a, a diaphragm and then it, off it goes and I make a good profit. I like to, you know, show the ins and outs and the actual things that I'm doing at the time. And this was uh, an epic spring fail, I'm afraid, but uh, at least it's an honest one. So thanks for watching and I'll see you again shortly.